uh, oh, the pronunciation of the O. Oh. Uh, very confusing. Uh, and I myself was experiencing, still experiencing, that I really don't understand why in certain cases you have to say it's O and in another case it's O and in which case is the correct case. So, it's really confusing. I mean, this is just one simple example. But uh, when it comes to this language, uh, I in fact expected a, a, a mix of an audience where I thought maybe some of these people who have this stigma and this kind of uh, sort of pressure. Now, in fact, I am as it is subconscious because I know that I will keep making mistakes. Uh, and sit, I'm sitting with Arun. <laughs> and there is uh, Varuni, my partner, see, uh, there and then Ruanti from the other side. So I'm very, very conscious. But what I want to tell you, one reason, a lot of people ask me as to why I selected advertising not law is one one of the reasons in language because i realize when i'm uh, asked to go uh, to the library study these uh, old cases and you know go through this it's mm -hmm. very difficult and when you are to sort of remember these some of these latin terms and stuff like that and then sort of you know it's very difficult so advertising i want to put this whole thing in a perspective is where you can use any language uh, the, the way you want it, and you can always call it, that is the advertising license that we have, <laughs> sort of the, the poetic license that we have got to use it the way you want. Uh, I mean, honestly, we have observed when you put single advertisement in English papers, we get better results than putting English advertisement in English papers. And it's the same, same with uh, uh, the radio stations. When you put some uh, nice singular mix ads, which means, I'm not talking similar as an example, it works with Tamil as well, uh, which means, I mean our main language, whatever it is, is the, the singular or Tamil. And it's very clear that the advertising jargon, as we call it, the target audience, uh, can basically, we can reach out to them uh, with single and English and cover almost 99% of the audience. I mean, every one of you understand, uh, it is equal or uh, So that is why we believe uh, that this language English uh, should not be taken very seriously at all. Uh, and uh, it is just another uh, language, you know, as as we were studying, we you know, go to uh, states and uh, maybe do get all these beggars on the road, they all speak English. Uh, so it has nothing to do with uh, any class or anything. <laughs> So it is basically, that's the kind of attitude we should take and we also don't care as to what language and how it pronounced as, as you, we all know. Uh, so we, in fact, uh, we should be a little conscious when we are not very fluent in our own mother tongue because that is not, might not sound good, that it may not go down well because you, you are culturally sort of fitted to a society and you have to be proud of a country that you are beginning, your parents, your graduate grandparents. I think that's something that I think, if at all, if you want to, I'm not saying that we have to, but if you really want to. But uh, as in this, uh, the, the stigma and the, 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 the fear, uh, I want to only tell you, it is because of this, some of these people, as you said, in the society, in the absence of any other talent, that they use this language to look down upon to you my observation. In the absence of any other content, uh, quality content in people, they use this as a as a tool uh, to sort of segregate the society, certify, uh, you, know, you, can, uh, you know, how to build uh, these charters and, you know, then in that field uh, of this, when it comes to make kadufai, uh, lots of people like us, we can be defeated easily because of this confusing uh, you know, uh, the theories behind the, whatever the, 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 in the language. But I think it is largely due to the, the so-called English-speaking people's attitude that stigma is uh, created among the people. That's my observation. It's a very, very personal observation. Uh, it's nothing to do with my company or anything, but uh, we've been over 23 years of experience in advertising. The moment you give this extent, this 
the fiction and when you make people sort of understand this is no big deal and you know you must have the content uh, not the not the language uh, then they sort of try to uh, come out and there we have produced so many stars in 23 years of our advertising right? uh, because we uh, at trial believed that uh, at the beginning itself at the launch of our agency itself uh, we went on the basis that conceptualizing has to be taken place with uh, the imagery close to people and as a language because almost 86 percent of people uh, always associate imagery with Sinhala or Chani the language. So we are one agency, we always thought in Sinhala. Uh, contrary to the public belief when we entered the industry that the, the concepts have to be taught in English. There were those days only Sinhala translators and Sinhala copywriters. There were never a, there were there weren't any creative directors who were thinking Sinhala. But Kana Kirihodi Kana creative directors right here. Once I was told by one of the creative directors, they used to hide the butt packet inside the drawer because uh, he, he thought that you know one of those uh, the creative directors, he thought the creative directors should eat burgers and have cappuccino and coca cola and stuff like that and this is, you know, that he could get exposed. So that's a reality. So, but in one agency we believe that it shouldn't be so and we have been, I think, uh, uh, I think we have been successful in what we try to do uh, because we in fact made the, the most of these single speaking people and encourage them to sort of come up with ideas irrespective of the language. In fact, uh, we had to find English translators like uh, uh, Uncle Willy, uh, I don't know you remember, uh, Willy and them to translate because uh, you know uh, the, the lack of uh, proper English knowledge because we, we didn't want to sort of get exposed uh, in our uh, limited grammatical uh, uh, and spelling and, uh, and uh, sort of skills. But uh, once again I want to tell you, if at all, if we all support that, as a, as a society and understanding that we should encourage the whole of Sri Lanka, uh, Sri Lanka to speak this language because it's, it's important and it is important for us to take this nation to the next level that we need this language and uh, uh, only we can support uh, to, to take this out of these people and make them part of us and we all must share these genuine stories without telling uh, you know what we call in our language is Padasho, Dan Nathu, Guru, Guru Hila, Dan Nathu, make a initial Janata Atharata genuinely, uh, not you know, you know, you say that. I mean, I would like to teach all that this is not how one should speak, it's not going to work. Because then you become the teacher, one the other person becomes the student, it's not like that, and you know. You